Yep. Aubrey, what up, boy? What up, homie? It's been a minute, bruh. Hey, it's been a while. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Dub Tape TV. I got a special episode for y'all, man. A longtime friend of mine from damn near almost 10 years ago is back in town from New York City. My homie Rise. I hadn't seen him for a long time. I'm looking forward to this, man. He's been really on his grind and on his hustle the past 10 years. This is kind of a homecoming in a sense. Not only that, but we're at the college we both graduated, Kentucky State, which is in my hometown of Frankfort, Kentucky. Let's go catch up with him, man. See what he's been up to, pick his brain a little bit. Peace, I appreciate y'all still tuning in. Yo, you know when you with your niggas on the weekend or the weekday, it don't matter. And y'all just riding out, wilding, drinking, or smoking, or whatever y'all do. He's the daughter of Mrs. Nicole Watkins and Mr. Louis Lawrence. You. It's your boy Rise, upstate New York to Kentucky, what's going on, Jersey, what's going on? We're here at Homecoming 2015, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Hybrid, make sure you go get these albums, you know, he do like an album a month, you know, my boy stay on his grind, but we in the building, Rise, Club Bangers. Yeah. Ready for combat, fiddle bars, yeah, we on that. And hell at bluegrass, Kentucky in my blood. Wildcat, try clocking, stop your watches, the music's timeless. Me and Chris mixed together and formed a hell of a hybrid. Got a profit, make these big deposits. Main ring in this market, get you demolished, you try to pick pocket. Honest, I get the money, I ain't with the gossip. Terrible sight, rest in peace to the haters watching. I'm damaging skulls, sharper than an arrowhead. Horsepower on tracks, I'm built like a thoroughbred. A lot of good memories at Case. I was heavy there, salute to my real niggas, I got love everywhere. What's up world, it's your boy Hybrid the Rapper clocking in for Dub Tape TV. I'm here with my longtime homie, the talented rapper, performer, hey. Rise, y'all, from New York City and this homie Magnificent, y'all. What up, what up, what up? We are bangers in the club, bangs in the building. Rise, you already know, New York City, Jersey, Buffalo, New York, man, what's happening, man? All the way to Kentucky, man, shout out to y'all. This is Dub Tape TV, yep. Believe that. What's up all the fam, fans and friends? I'm here with my longtime homie, the super multi-talented Rise from New York City, y'all. When I met this man, we went to school together at K-State. We did a lot of big things through the music. This man's an artist in every sense of the word. Not only tangible art, but performing arts. He's an actor, an MC, a great performer. My homie Rise, y'all, from NK Wild. <laughs> My it's all good. <laughs> he, he wanted to say Kentucky and NY at the same time. <laughs> I was doing too much on that. Is that right? Me and my boy Hybrid, we go back, man. Like I said, he recorded my, he recorded my first album. You know, so me and this dude got a long history, man. Kentucky, man. It's like my, it's another home for me. So it feels good to be back. I ain't been here since 07. So it feels good to be back. You know what I mean? Hey, back in KY, man. Damn near 10 years ago, which it don't seem like it, but man, this dude came to me at a time when my, I, I, I'm be, I'll venture to say that my career was in a sense stagnant, man. I mean, I was doing music, I was going through the motions, but this dude came to me with the idea, with the concept, and not only did he knock this album out officially and in no time, but what he did to my career and the people that I was around, man, he lit a fire in my ass. This dude came to the studio, he showed me how to, how to, to pursue the dream and to go for it, no questions asked, full throttle, full force. Yeah. He, yeah. I, I didn't know him, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know you at the time, but when you came to me, you had the idea, you had the passion, you was, you lived and breathed art, you was an art major, you, you, you was doing everything an artist is supposed to do. As soon as money gets involved, cats just change. It don't matter if it's fifty dollars or fifty thousand dollars. And I, you know, I've, I've only had a couple of industry shenanigans and a couple of dealings. So I've been dealing with small potatoes and small yeah, numbers, yeah, but yeah. you see it. You yeah. see it. You, uh, I mean, the, the straight out of Compton movie. You see what that was about. Easy E was getting all the money. Cube had a problem with that. Like, yo, where, where, where's my money? I wrote a lot of stuff, and, and that's that's what happens. And it's like a conflict a, of money. And it don't matter what genre, what type of music. It's like a reoccurring theme. Like, yeah, yeah. money gets involved, cats change. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, friends it become enemies. Happens. That's what happens, you know what I'm saying? Crazy, bro. Hand to hand, and straight up, you know what I mean? In front of the student center, just a big stereo, just blasting music, and have the CDs right there on the table. And we'll come up, buy them and all that, but yeah, we got the songs played at the at the, the K-State parties, you know what I'm saying, at the local club, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, it's a it yeah. classic, man. I'm, I'm proud of it, I'm proud of it. It was a domino effect. As soon as he started pushing, it was like, 
the scene built. You know, next thing you know, my rap group was out doing shows. Riles was with us, we was pairing up doing big shows yeah. at multiple bars, and yeah. even the expo in Frankfurt. You know, it's like we got the thing, we got it going, we got things in motion. You know, yeah. and I and I give a lot of credit to you because yeah. I mean, I was doing music, but I wasn't doing nothing with the music. Um, I just want to talk to my artists right now, man. You know what I mean? Like, I had the pleasure as an artist to meet Styles P, somebody I grew up listening to. And one of the things he told me, I'll never forget, he said, if you ain't willing to work harder than every other rapper, you shouldn't be doing it. Straight up, he just told me straight like that. If you ain't willing to work, it's millions and millions of rappers, other artists in this world, man. If you ain't willing to work harder than all of them, then you shouldn't be doing it. So to my artists, I just say, don't just do it for money. You gotta do it because you love doing it. Because this game, this is a crazy game. You know what I mean? You're not gonna make the millions of dollars. You're not gonna get the tours and the women and stuff like that. That stuff just doesn't come like that. So you have to do it because you're passionate about it. All that stuff may come later, you know what I'm saying? But do it because you love it. You gotta, I'm talking about dedication, man. You gotta dedicate yourself, man. Study the craft. Study it because you love it, man. You know what I mean? Watch other artists that are doing it, doing it big, you know what I'm saying? The the Jay-Z's, the Eminem's of the world, watch them, you know what I mean? Study them, you gotta study the game, you know what I mean? If you wanna be in this game, you gotta you gotta study the best and study, and, and study how they do it, you know what I mean? And, you know, be your own artist, man. What's up, world? This is Hopper the Rapper, reporting live for Dub Tape TV. I got my homie Riles from New York City, y'all. K-State alumni, we're here at the homecoming 2015. Right now, he's gonna give y'all a live demonstration. Hip Hop 101, let's go. Clever like Big, real like Pac, creative like M, ambitious like J, only option is win. Consistent like Kiss, poetic like Nas, raising my fist like public enemy for the people fighting the rise. Smooth like Snoop, teach like KRS, I'ma get it like Meek Mill, become a dream chaser and make it manifest. Hard worker like Wayne, Boss like Ross, I entertains like Mike Jackson, Big Daddy Kane. Crew tight like Wu-Tang Clan, operate like Dre. Bring the pain like the boy Method Man, bring the drama like K Slay. Flexing on him like Lex Luger, by any means like Malcolm X, and I'm seeing a promised land like a Martin Luther. Inspiration like Marcus Garvey, very influential, I'm buzzing like I took a shotgun from Bob Marley. I'm energetic like I'm T.I.P., and the king gon' reign supreme until I D.I.E. Yeah. Witnessing a vision from an artistic hitman Sparking to hit him Creative thoughts sparking to rip him Lyrically dismiss him I live for competition And I demolish anybody trying to target my vision I depart the track when I'm spitting Verbally painting pictures Food for thought, got him loving my kitchen huh. Rap cooking, baby back in that fresh chicken Best written like crack addiction Rapping to lift him uh -huh. Something like, uh huh Something like, uh huh uh -huh. Hybrid on the beat. Uh, 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 uh. From upstate to New Jersey, I ring bells. Your bar still, but don't kill. No EZL. Watch for the snakes, ain't gotta give the details. But niggas got sent, put in boxes, no emails. Just trying to make sure me and the fam eat well. Steady paper chasing while you steady chasing females. Don't wanna follow your footsteps, your feet smell. Plus, I'm on my own path to rise on the retail. Only fuck with pretty women that can hold the top, blow the top. Bang, bang, click, click, reload the top. Sick of these fake rappers talking how they holding glocks. Fake than these insecure chicks, nice with the Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Running full speed into these bars, you know the stop. Mm -hmm. Bars ain't gotta touch, you feel that wind, you know the flop. Mm -hmm. Ain't gotta be a star to float in the skies. I want my son to see greatness when you look in my eyes, boy. Uh huh. I knew that they was about to start. So, because they about to start, why would we set up if we know they about to start? You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense. It takes us about 30 minutes to set up. So, you know we go in there, we set up, yeah, and then yeah. boom, the show starts. You know what? The football was a nice experience. I don't yeah. need to come to the football again next year. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're going to do our things right here. Live and learn. Yeah, because you know, I enjoy the football for what it is. At least I know, you know how it looks like. You got the experience the though. You got the, my you phone, the you know college experience Yeah, though. exactly. So next year when we come here, we do our concert here, right before the big concert. And depending on how good we do, they'll naturally put us, you know, as an mm -hmm. opening act. Yeah. You know what I'm so saying? We'll, we'll shut it down. So then after the show, then we'll go to the big concert and open up for the superstars. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about, yeah, Grindy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I got it. So when we come, when we come here, it's all about setting up. We shut in down there, the main spot. Get the twenty-five dollars. Uh huh. Bring our equipment up in there and just That's start it. rocking. And then when we start, and then we open up for them. When we open up for them, then we go open up for the superstars. What we do to stand out is, we pretty much, my boy Magnificent. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? He invested in all this equipment. Mm. We got our own speakers, our own mics, you know, cordless mics. So what we do is, 
we um we get permits and we perform on the streets versus just being in the clubs we out on the streets performing so uh. you know it, and it's different it's a challenge because when you in the club everybody's there watching you on stage when you're performing on the streets you got to attract the crowd yeah. so now we just you know we just in the streets performing and people are just going about their day but what you got to do is you got to basically make them say like why they walking doing what they because new york is busy everybody's going yeah, wherever they yeah, need to go yeah, you yeah, got to basically make them walk and go <laughs> what, they, what they doing over there? What you know what I'm saying? That, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we gotta attract the crowd. Uh -huh. So it's it's made us stronger performers. So when we get in the club where everybody's paying attention to us, we just it's nothing because yeah. the street performance thing is 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 I mean, it's a challenge. And that's, but it's that's fun. It, that's it's like hip hop in its purest form as well. You yeah. know, you, you, oh, yeah. you're doing the craft, you're doing the art for free, live and direct for the people. You're bringing mm -hmm. it to them. Mm -hmm. you're, you're you're showing them who you are right yeah. there. I mean, that takes some courage, some audacity. You know, courage, definitely yeah. courage. <laughs> but my, my boy Mike, he brought the idea to me. I was against it at first. I was like, yo, I'm a little uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm a little uneasy with this. So I was like, you know what? On a strength of, cause me and my boy Mike, that's one of my good friends, one of my best friends. So, you know, I said, all right, I'll do it just on the strength of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when we first got out there, we was on um, 58th and 6th Avenue. We was right there in front of Radio City Music Hall. And I was kind of uncomfortable. You know what I mean? But once I started getting comfortable, had a little liquor in my system, you know what I'm saying? I started to warm up to it. And, yeah. it's, and you know, I'm like, yo, this ain't that bad. From there, we just took off from there. Man. From, I love the idea, yeah, man. From that it. to all the way out here in Kentucky doing it. That's it. You gotta, as long as you know how to bring it back to the team, that's what it's about. Benefits everybody, man. I even heard Busy Bones say something about he's the type of dude that can break off and go on his own and come back and help the group even more. That's what it's about, and that's what that's what that's what Jada Kiss would do. He would branch out, and you know he got to deal with Jay Z. You know what I mean? You you would think that Styles and and uh, she could be like, oh, he got to deal with Jay Z. You, you would think they'd be like that, but they was like, oh, this, this brings that, it back that, to us. Yeah. This comes back to us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I, that's why I, Synergy, I always man. look at them as you know my idol group because they've been together for all these years, didn't break up, still was able to branch out and bring it back home. Man. They always know how to bring it back home. And I'm like, if I'm going to be in a group, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. town, another home. Lived there for seven years. Where the journey began. Where I started my rap career. Where I killed stages, smashed faces, and brought fear. A rapper tried to interfere. These bars made it clear. New York is the birth state. So that's the state of mind I'm in. These rappers way left. That's why I left. I'm in them. You can talk about you spit fire and who you fly it then. We came to put the flame out. I guess you can call us firemen. Love for the ladies, but out of line? Beast mode. I'm too grown for the games. Won't even play with the cheat code. Grimy chicks foul, but peep though. All my real women chant MVP when I'm at the free throw. <laughs> you dudes act as Vin Diesel. When the camera's on, your portrayals are so believable, which makes you easy to read though. There's a big difference between Tony Montana and Al Pacino. Demolish your team, a champ, I hold the torch. I'm at your pressure point, pressure your point, full court. Hood support, I got that. I love my hood. I live and die for my niggas, put money on the wood. Dig me?